Hello and welcome to my review. First, I need to apologize to you guys because this perfume was bought a, almost a month back. It came in my hand the month back, but uh, due to my office work and my trip, I had a trip in between and uh, due to that and also some personal health issues, so many things, it was left behind. I'm so sorry. I should have put it long back. But now I came back. Oh, and there is another reason which you will understand after the video. And <laughs> so yeah, let's start. So this is what? This is uh, Goldfield and Bank, Australia. Sunset Hour. So this is a perfume which came out in 2021. If you guys are following my channel, I think you already know that I have tried um, two of their, uh, one is, uh, I forgot something, Lime, Bohemian Lime, and uh, I have tried the Pacific Rock Moss from the Goldfield and Banks, and I absolutely love both of them. Pacific Rock Moss became my personal favorite because Pacific Rock Moss is one of the freshies that lasted longer than any other fresh perfumes. That is an aquatic perfume and that lasted so long, like the whole day. And it was so fresh, it reminded me of the sea. And the Pacific Rock Moss is the reason why I bought this today, because I bought a 50ml bottle as well. So. I have faced a couple of challenges buying this this one and the Pacific Rock Moss bottle. I bought the 50ml bottle and uh, I bought it from USA in one of the sites uh, of Goldfield and Banks. They had a site, I think, uh, I forgot which, uh, some shop and they were selling it, the 50ml size, they had it in the stock now they don't have and uh, I, they were charging it for $120, including the VAT tax and the shipping charge. I paid it $135, where the full bottle 100 ml is $185. So yes, I paid a good amount on this one. I wanted to show you the box because it's quite pretty, the mate. It's a... Australian niche brand if you don't know it's a Goldfield and Banks that is how you open it yes I took off the perfume and a small nice cute note and the color gave it so I really love the detail they did on the pack so here is the bottle and the bottle the juice color is orange as you can see it reminds me a lot of some other perfume as well i love their cap it looks like worked on a wooden cork uh they worked it like gold golden color but it's not really that i think that is how the bottle, the full full 100 ml is the exactly same bottle, just it's the bigger bottle. Okay, I don't know if they, uh, there is no chance of reformulation because it was out in 2021. Let me read out the notes it has. Or... First, I need to tell you, if you check out the color, it's orange. So orange color is a bright color. So I think it is showing it's for the spring or summertime use, something like that, uh, or citrusy. It more uh, represents citrus kind of thing, but surprisingly, there is a citrus type of fruit inside, but it is not really like that. It's a, it's a fruity perfume. 
it's a fruity floral perfume more like it and they said it sunset hour sunset hour i think uh what i think i'll tell you a bit later but first let me read out the notes they have put it in they have put they didn't say what is in the top or what is in the middle or the beige they just said it uh, the botanicals and essence that's what they said more classy way of saying it uh, mandarin is from italy dessert peach australia which they call kondong then raspberry then jasmine absolute then ginger from nigeria then pink pepper from madagascar sandalwood from australia cashmere wood, benzoin from laos so as a niche perfumery they have bought it from the bar the they got the uh ingredients from different uh part of the world that is okay uh, i have sprayed it and you can see there there are quite a bit of oil so it is a high quality perfume and and now it comes to my feeling when you first spray it it will burst out into a little bit of mandarin then the crisp uh you know then the peach and the raspberry to my nose i'm sorry to my nose the whole time was peach and raspberry it has a very sweet desert sugary desert like when you sub bake something like let's say if you are baking a raspberry uh, pie if you're uh, baking a raspberry pie or um, some fruit cake it smells exactly like that when it's hot warm a warm cake or a warm pie it smells exactly like that is it juicy yes when you bring it to your nose it feels a little bit juicy because it's a niche perfume they used high quality oils high quality ingredients that's why it will smell a little bit like that to me does it sound, uh, smell tropical no it doesn't it is actually more like sweet baked cake tart i mean everything i see in a bakery basically to me it smells like a bakery shop is it does it make any sense <laughs> when you get inside a bakery shop all the sweet smells freshly baked cake fruit cake tart all those sugary smells yummy smells which i don't take <laughs> so those smells come into my nose so did i like it question is that uh, i'm sorry i couldn't like it because for a hundred and thirty five dollar perfume i expect a more mature smell because this is a smell I feel I'm so sorry if I'm disappointing people because I am more fond of I, I get into it's not about the money part actually it is a, it is the expectation because uh, I have smelled uh, two more perfumes from this brand and as a niche perfume they're claiming their niche perfume house <coughs> so my expectation will be comparison to that level so that is nothing unfair and when i'm smelling this perfume you know what i'm exactly it, it's it's uh, turning it's coming in my mind is uh the there is a perfume very cheap perfume which is i, I think it's less than 20 dollars it's called sugar crush uh it's a white transparent bottle pink cap with a lot of bows of pink bows which is bought all of the teenage girls of 12 to 15 years old all of them have it in their vanity i'm sure if you check any girl 
of that age when everybody have it. Uh, I think I said a little bit more age. I would say 10 to 12, 14, I think it will be lesser than that. Because it is so sugary, it gives a headache. Seriously, it's a cheap perfume. I mean, it doesn't even go into that part uh, which are called celebrity perfumes. It doesn't s smell to me even that level of cheap. It is. It smells much cheaper. I'm not saying that cheaper perfumes are bad. Absolutely not. Zara is a cheap perfume, but it smells. There are many good creation of Zara perfumes which are which smells pretty good. I do have. I personally I use a couple of Beyonce perfumes which smells really good. You know. This one smells exactly, I remember a little bit of Beyonce perfume. Uh, probably the bottle is, not sure, probably the bottle is pink. Pink, purple, that kind of color, which is very sweet, sugary sweet. I remember because the Beyonce name was coming when I sprayed it. And it is a little bit disappointing, not a little bit, a lot of disappointment, I would say. Sorry, I can't hold the... <laughs> because I have paid a lot for it, uh, just for a 50 ml. If I knew it, I wouldn't have uh, invested in this one. I could have get a bigger bottle of Pacific Rock Moss. I loved that perfume. It has an amazing uh, staying power. Oh, yes. Um, this perfume as well they have an amazing long lasting super uh what do you call it uh the sillage is amazing when you're spraying it everybody in the room will get to know you're wearing something sweet or maybe it will be better to say that uh, you are smelling like a bakery uh, <laughs> and <laughs> uh, there is a difference, you know, there is a difference of spraying Casamorati and Sunset Hour. There is a huge difference. Um, people, I have watched so many videos on it. And when I sprayed it myself, trust me, the first day when I received it and that day after that day, I opened it today just for the because I didn't like it. Um, they could make it much more better i would say uh, this is a perfume is perfectly good for a hundred percent teenage girl not for me not for my nose i'm sure there are many more people uh, i mean this brand is from australia and very few people get to uh, get it i mean it's difficult to get uh, otherwise, uh, if it was that popular, probably so many people could, you know, reach it and talk about it. I have seen whatever I have seen before I bought this, uh, whatever the reviews I have watched, I'm a bit disappointed now because I don't know what came into their mind. They were speaking exactly what it's written on their website. I can read you out what they wrote here and I can tell you the truth what I'm smelling here. Maybe it's my nose. I don't know. It's my nose but nobody paid for my perfume so I can tell you what I felt. Because it's my money, my hard earned cash so I can say it whatever I feel. Their perfume, if it's good I will tell you good. If it's not good I will never tell you it's good. Like their Pacific Rock Moss, Bohemian Lime, they're amazing. I was trying to get a sample, a sample discovery set from there and I failed. I tried twice and I think it cost you 50 Australian dollar, but somehow nobody could get it. So I, I'm pretty upset with that. Later on, I thought like, okay, let's go ahead with a blind buy. It's a niche brand. What I mean, what can go wrong? Yeah, this can go <laughs> absolutely wrong. If you are not fan or not fond of sweet perfumes, or I mean, this is definitely not for a mature nose. Absolutely not. You cannot wear this. I don't know why did they call it Sunset Hour. This is nothing. It doesn't represent anything to me. I'm sorry. 
I don't want to offend anyone, but it doesn't represent anything to do with sunset hour. Seriously. If it was a perfume like a sprinkly, champagne-y, sparkly perfume, Goldman perfume, anything that could I, you know, match with that, then I could say. But seriously, this is act actually to me, to my nose, it's just a sweet, tarty, desserty kind of perfume. That's it. Which actually reminds me of kiddish perfume. Uh, I mean, young teenager perfumes, those sweet, cheap Disney perfumes. Sorry. <laughs> That's why. Uh, anyways, I'm sorry if I have hurt you. If any Australian uh, subscriber are watching, <laughs> please don't get hurt. This is what I felt because I bought it with my own money. So I can tell you the truth how I felt. Um, our, everybody smells in a different way. Everybody has a different taste in perfume. Maybe I didn't like it. Maybe you may, be like, you may like it. So I would never tell you that don't try this perfume. This is so bad. I would never say that. You may like it if you're fond of sweet fragrances. I am personally a big fan of sweet fragrances because I personally I love rose fragrances and rose fragrances at some point it's sweet. Trust me, I love my Rose Berberanza by Lomcom Private Line. They are amazing. That's more jammier than this one. But there is a difference in perfume creation. If you smell Rose Berenza, that's a jammy rose, excellently deep, deep rose. When you smell it, you'll understand a lot of work is done for that. A lot of, because every movement of that perfume, starting from spraying to sitting on your skin, longevity and everything, even though that's super sweet, but you'll understand the effort of making that perfume uh, in this one <laughs> I found that I, I could buy it from any store and why did I spend so much I'm feeling a little bit angry anyways uh, that's it from my side um, I'm sorry if I have offended you but um, yeah that's why I said at the end of the video you will understand <laughs> So that's it from my side. If you like my video, give, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, share. And of course, please, if you have this perfume, do share your thoughts on it. Because I really want to know um, who else is liking it or who else is not liking it and why you're not liking it or why you're liking it. Yeah, why not? Uh, just uh, don't need to uh, be aggressive. That's all. Thank you so much. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel. I'll come back with more. Thank you. Bye-bye.